This is Wicked Roadie, a wicked good podcast about Rhode Island events and life. Hello and welcome. My name is Mary Larson. And I'm Ben DeCastro. Thank you so much for tuning in and joining us. Wow, what a storm this week. <laughs> right? I love it. You I know, love listen, it. I, I hate every time we come on, especially during the winter, you know, having to talk about weather and weather-related issues. But let's face it, we have gotten walloped three times in the past two weeks. Yep. I felt compelled on Monday night around midnight to put together a little PSA announcement saying, hey, if you're going to lose power, why don't you store the number now in your phone? Because people never do that. People never store the common sense numbers in their cell phone. No, you're right. You see, it, it, add that to the list of things, of ways to be an adult. Yeah, well, learn it, about your trees, learn about your water pipes, and save the emergency numbers. Well, it's it's just, to me, it's common sense. You know, we had, um, uh, you know, we had back in the day, you had the little sticker next to the wall, next to the, the phone line, mm-hmm. and it had poison control, police, fire, the hospital, your doctors, and everything. Now we have these cell phones which can literally store (laughs) tens of thousands of phone numbers and all you have to do is maintain those contacts. Yep. So just put in national grid power outage next time you lose power because that happens in this area. Just go to your phone and type in power outage. And the important thing is, is, and of course we're saying this a few days after the storm, but for the next time, even if your neighbor says, oh, I called, you need to call as well. Okay. Because that helps them keep a tally saying, okay, this is a really big area. Mm-hmm. Or a lot of people are affected here. And that helps with the the severity of it all. And especially if you see your next street over or whatever has power and you don't, mm-hmm. or it comes back on the street over and you're like, uh, where's mine? It's been, call them again and say, hey, listen, I noticed the street three you know, three streets down, yep. the next street over, or even the other side of the, the street that you're on, because the way the grid works is really weird. It sounds like a maze. It really it really <laughs> is. And you never know just how it how it grids out, literally. And you, you've got to keep people you gotta keep the, the electric people aware of that. Mm-hmm. So um I, I made this little PSA because people have been losing power. The snow has been very het and w- heavy and wet. Uh, het and wevy. I like that. Uh, het and wevy. <laughs> and that's what's causing all the issues, is, is trees on the lines. It's true. A big piece of mine fell. Yeah. You know how I was talking about it last week? Well, it did. It fell. And when I had lost power prior to living in Cranston, I used to tweet at National Grid. So you're right. I should have just called. Oh, yeah. Well, if you call, <laughs> like I said, if you call and, and register, then then they will tend to call you back, too, with yep. information like updates and whatnot. So I it's like good and, and helpful. Look but you so helpful. Well, I'm here to help the, uh, the the Rhode Island people on everything they do. We need a new segment. There's Wicked Interesting, but we need, like, adulting <laughs> tips with Ben. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's assuming the majority of our listener base are millennials, which it's not. It's all ages. <laughs> and uh, all ages will be celebrating this weekend St. Patrick's Day on the 17th yes. St. Joseph's Day grab your corned beef and Zaples for an entire weekend of fun right oh my god I'm so excited I've been watching what I eat all week so that I can eat all of the things <laughs> salty and sweet <laughs> just preparing it all for uh, Saturday and Monday now will you be going to any parades this weekend nope I love parades but I'm afraid of how my children will act at them I'm a huge parade person but um, we're gonna we are gonna be going up to see a friend who is making the corned beef uh, dinner because oh, I don't really cook that well, so I'm bringing Guinness. It's that is my hard, contribution. It's not hard to cook corned beef, Mary. Do you put it in a crock pot? You put it in a pot of water and you boil it to death. That's, that's it. That's how the Irish cook. I love it. Maybe Just that's boil. <laughs> everything in the pot: <laughs> potatoes, cabbage, onions, carrots. I can do the that. Beef. Perfect. There you go. Doesn't your house smell bad? Uh, it depends. Um, <laughs> it's. I, I don't know. I don't know. You, you can open a window, I guess. Are you going to a parade? Uh, no, no. I I stay away from large crowds <laughs> that I don't have a quick exit plan from. So, but there are a lot. I mean, obviously Newport. There will yes. be uh, uh, Boston. Will have their parade this weekend. There's just a ton of them out there. Everything. Yeah, Everybody's so, going to be hopping. So listen, if you tuned in while you're on the road, maybe you're heading to a parade right now, Yay. and you're listening. We have other things for you to do. Or you're getting errands done. Just sit back, and listen, and enjoy the episode. If you hear something that piques your interest. We'll have all the links and info for you in our show notes, which can be found on our website, wickedroadypodcast.com. Hey, 
So Ben, what is your wicked interesting pick for the week? This is really cool. Up at the Stadium Theater this weekend, it is the Femmes of Rock. Ooh. These are... The, the, the group officially is called the Bella Electric Strings. Okay. It's four female uh, violinists, but they play electric violins. Love it. So it's it's those really cool shaped yeah. ones. On Saturday, March 17th, so after you've gone to the parades, eaten a bunch of corned beef and cabbage, 8 o'clock, head up to the Stadium Theater in one socket, and this is really the only string act of its kind. It's, it's, it's amazing blistering rock solos to unique arrangements from Queen, Led Zeppelin, ACDC, Prince, The Beatles, and so many more. And you know what? They've They've even performed with like people like Beyonce, Shakira, oh, wow. um, Andrea Bocelli, not Andrea Bocelli as I, I'm like, oh, who's Andrea? <laughs> it's Andre Bocelli. <laughs> Andrea. And uh, they were actually even on America's Got Talent. So You know, I'm picturing this to be like the rock version of Celtic women. It, yeah, that's exact. Thank you. That's what it was because I was, I was trying to think of what the, um, it wasn't River Dance, and I was trying to think of who who had this similar kind of I thing. I got you. Celtic right. women. The Celtic women, <laughs> yes. But these these chicks have violins. This is a high energy show. I love it. That will leave you in awe. I think of it as Trans-Siberian Orchestra for St. Patrick's Day. Yes. Or, or just every other day that's not Christmas. But violin rock. Yes. I love this. Not violent rock. Violin rock. <laughs> Look what you did there. We are a fully peace-loving organization here. You can obviously <laughs> find tickets and information on our website. That is our Wicked Interesting Pick of the Week, ladies and gentlemen. And here now, for your entertainment pleasure, and Wicked Fun in the 401. <laughs> So, of course, you started off talking about St. Patrick's Day and St. Joseph's Day and getting into the parades. If you are a parade lover, like myself, Newport is the place to be. This Saturday from 11 till 2. Of course, a lot of you have known about it. Maybe you've never been. If you're a Rhode Islander, this is an experience that I feel like you just have to do. You know, it's one of those bucket list things is to head onto Newport for the St. Patrick's Day Parade. And one of my favorite things that they have actually on their Facebook page event page is um, a five ways to get arrested, ejected, or fined oh, at the fun. Newport Parade. So I would look over that list so and bring make the sure kids. you don't. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. This, is, this isn't this is an event. I mean, actually, people have brought their kids. I think it's for the later on right. crowd, the post 2 p.m. You don't really want to be bringing the little ones there. Not that it's going to be crazy, but it is going to be crazy. Let me help qualify something. <laughs> okay, please do. The parade is from 11 to 2. Yes. If you are looking at your calendar or your itinerary for the day and saying, hey, we're still going to be at Newport at 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 o'clock at night, <laughs> strongly suggest you take a moment and just gaze over those pointers of five ways yes. not to get arrested or ejected because <laughs> folks it's just really common sense it's good it's good sense right there this is a really a pregame for the fourth of july in bristol there you go there you go <laughs> so once again head on over to newport if you'd like to see a parade or um you know take your family just on the earlier side yeah and then get out of there while you can <laughs> hey maybe you want to go at some point if you have ever thought of Opening a restaurant, creating your own food product line and whatnot, you've always wondered, hey, how do I do that? Mm -hmm. Well, there is a food entrepreneur boot camp happening Saturday, March 17th, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. at Hope and Main in Warren, Rhode Island. Delicious. So, if, again, if you have uh, an idea for a food business, this is the premier food business incubator. What that means is they've taken the old Main Street School in Warren, Rhode Island, mm -hmm. and they have turned it into literally a place where you can learn every element of of food service, whether you're going to be doing a restaurant where you're going to serve food that's plated, mm -hmm. you're going to be creating a product that you're going to sell in the stores and you need to package it, you need to learn how to go through the FDA regulations, marketing, business, all that stuff there. This is why they call it the Food Business Incubator. Ooh. They uh, they just do so many awesome things there. They will be reviewing market research, business plans, sales and marketing, funding options, legal considerations, operations and management. It's really if you so many people get into things and saying oh, i'm just gonna do this and then before you know it's like oh crap what i had no idea this is the way if you've ever said i want to create a product that i can sell my grandmother's you know marinara sauce is something unbelievable perfect for any 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 occasion and i want to bottle it or jar it this is the place to go for you so uh you will get literally 
all your questions answered. It's a great time for self-assessment, networking, and you get a roadmap to move your idea from product to brand to business. So you really can't beat that. That's happening this Saturday at the Hope in Maine, which is on Main Street in Warren, Rhode Island. It's the Food Entrepreneur Boot Camp. Love Saturday this. from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. What else we got going on? So there's this uh, place called the Pump House Music Works. It's in Peacedale, Rhode Island. So head on down to South County. South it's, County. Yeah, South County. It's a nonprofit organization driven to cultivate culture and creativity in the musical community. Um, I hadn't really ever heard about this performance venue just because I'm a typical Rhode Islander and I don't go further south than East Greenwich. Unless uh, it's a big event at URI <laughs> that you have to go back to your automata. Exactly. Alma exactly. mater, not automata. <laughs> so, Automatopoeia. The, oh, I like that. Look at you. Yes, uh, I, it was the word of the day a few days ago on Sesame Street. <laughs> it's a good one. So this Saturday on St. Patrick's Day, there's this group called the Honey Dew Drops, and they're going to be performing. An acoustic guitar magazine described their set of songs as a handcrafted sound centered on swarming harmonies and acoustic guitars that churn like a paddle wheel and simmer, uh, shimmer like heat waves on the highway. So I started to listen to this duo, and they are phenomenal. I just need to give you a little bit of a, a taste um, of the type of music, but if you're more into the folk music, this is a couple who they share a mic together while they play their guitars and sing. And I just think this is a really great place that I personally want to check out, the Pump House. They have music pretty much Thursday through Sunday every single week. And uh, tickets are generally very affordable, you know, $10, $15. And this is a great music to listen to on St. Patrick's Day. And you said they both share a mic? Yeah. So they're cheap. <laughs> Support the microphone industry. Come on, buy a second mic. No, I'm kidding. They, they, the music is really nice, and, yes. and it, it really gives a nice, uh, nice audio experience. Yeah, and you can have some food and drink there. So great night out with some friends, date night, but definitely get to know the uh, Pump House Music Works. Even if you don't get to go see this performance of the Honey Dew Drops this weekend, it's definitely a place to check out. All right. Well, hey, listen, if you're going to spend the, that's what, Saturday night? Yes, it's So Saturday spend night. the night down there in Peacedale and then stay overnight for the Pier Plunge Take Two. Yes, the Lions Club, the Narragansett Lions Club Charities. They were supposed to have a polar plunge on January 1st, but it was like, you know, negative 45 degrees outside. <laughs> so they postponed it till this Sunday, March 18th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. It's back on. It was the New Year's Day plunge, but hey, they still need the funds. They still have a lot of people that are, are really adventurous and want to jump into the ocean. That's it. So they will be doing that on Sunday. You, you can get all the information and, and meet up there. It's all organized at the North Beach Clubhouse, which is you know right there on the the, the town beach. Mm -hmm. And then Poncho O'Malley. That's one of my favorites. There you go. I like the place Poncho your face in. But <laughs> Poncho O'Malley's, not, I, I did not mean that towards Mary for the listeners. Please don't need to email us. <laughs> that, that was just a total terrible joke. They will be having an after plunge gathering at Poncho O'Malley's for anyone who would like to extend the festivities of the day, weekend, or just the entire month. As we've mentioned before, the benefits will go towards the Narragansett Lions Club charities, which obviously they do a ton of work with mm -hmm. eyes and eyeglasses for children and, and eyesight research and everything. And if you don't want to plunge, just bring money. Yes. <laughs> they hey. won't turn that away. That's great. And get all the information obviously at our uh, on our website there. But that's gonna be a it's gonna be a fun time on Sunday. The weather's looking okay. It's still March. I mean, you're still plunging into the ocean in the winter. Which is not bad if you're, you know, into the whole Wim Hof method or the cold thermogenesis or whatever. You know, it's uh, just just do it. Go in slow and uh, enjoy it. Soak it in. Yeah, and then you get to go to Poncho O'Malley's. There you go. Perfection. So this week's Wicked Family Friendly Pick of the Week is some mindful play and yoga at the East Greenwich Free Library. Now, this is aimed towards kids who are four through about seven years old. It's going to be on Saturday from 1030 to 11. 15. Children are going to get to play games and experience relaxation techniques, oh. breath work, and guided visualization, along with some great yoga-based movements. Now, this is going to be led by a certified deep play for uh, kids instructor, Wesley Forsyth. And uh, registration is encouraged, but it's totally okay if you just want to drop on in. I am so excited about this event because... Oh, the four-year-old age is a strong-willed age. It is it is an age of figuring things out, and some of those deep breathwork techniques could not only work for my children, 
but also for me. I was going to say that, that, <laughs> that, that you think four years old, wait till you hit 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, all the right? way up to like 40. <laughs> right. It's so true. And I love the idea of yoga being playful. Like yes. I think a lot of people who, who don't do yoga, they think of it as sweat and hard work and, you know, really stressed out. But really it's about mindfulness and being able to kind of experience that um the, the depth that you can get inside your own head and having that clarity as well as relaxation and getting tone and fit. But it's it's a lot in one that if you can teach it at a young age and for it to be fun, I think is a brilliant thing to do. So if you're looking for something to do on Saturday morning and you don't want to head down to Newport for the parade, head on over to the East Greenwich Free Library. And there's signs all throughout East Greenwich pointing to the library. Right, you right. can't miss yep. it. East Greenwich is nice and small and they want you to know where their library is. It's up on the top of the hill <laughs> so you can find it easily. And that once again is for kids ages four through seven years old i feel like this has been a very yin yang episode <laughs> like we've given you the <laughs> excitement where the events literally have tips on how not to get arrested and ejected <laughs> and we've brought you information on how to keep your four-year-old from going off the deep end and right? wild and crazy so ladies and gentlemen with that you're welcome <laughs> just send those checks right in <laughs> Uh, as we said in the beginning, everything we talked about today can be found on our website, wickedroadypodcast.com. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram. We just love to be social, guys. So if you're social, don't forget to use that hashtag, Wicked Roadie. And speaking of being social, let your friends know. Let your friends know that you listen to this podcast. Open up that podcast app for them and show them where it's at. Just search Wicked Roadie. And let your new friends know if you get arrested in Newport, your new cellmates. <laughs> and uh, when you take a photo of the inside of that jail cell or that holding uh, place, Hashtag us, Wicked Roadie. Say, I didn't listen to those people. Uh, they told me to read that article. I'll tell you who is listening, though. Tons of people out there. And if you'd like to get into their earbuds, advertising and sponsorship information is available. Just email us, wickedroadypodcast at gmail.com. Until next time, folks, I'm Mary Larson. And I'm Ben DeCastro. And you've been listening to Wicked Roadie. We'll have more for you next Thursday. Hopefully you've been bailed out by then. And if not, hopefully they serve Zapolis in jail. Uh, contact Mike Bataro, attorneys at law. <laughs> it's good to know Mike Bataro. <laughs>